Hey guys, so it looks like Tesla has been busy making upgrades to practically every single model in their lineup. The Cybertruck has brought many unique features of its own, the Model 3 just got one of the biggest upgrades ever, and the Model S and X are very soon going to be getting the efficiency package. So as time goes on, you would expect newer cars to have better features, more range, and just overall more premium. But unfortunately, this is not the case with the Model Ys. In the recent years, Tesla has made some substantial changes to the Model Ys that some may call it very controversial. In early 2022, the Model Y was creating a lot of buzz with the structural design and the new battery cells. Many owners then shared their experiences after taking delivery and it wasn't exactly what we were hoping for. These cars went into production for about a few months before it was halted completely. Now of course the reason to it may be that the 4680 cells are being saved and prioritized for the Cybertrucks but it doesn't change the fact that they produced a car for just a few months before stopping production entirely. Now moving into 2023, Tesla revealed the new Project Highland vehicles with the new ambient lighting. And to avoid sales decline of the Model Y, Tesla decided to make a slight update adding a new LED strips at the front dashboard of the car. Now unlike the Model 3 Highlands, the strip was not wrapped around the car at all. It was just a very small, thin, subtle strip right at the front of the car. This would be said to be the stepping stone between the current generation Model Ys versus the one coming out in Q4 of 2024. Now what we did expect however was that this wasn't going to be specific to just China and that it would eventually lead into other markets as well. But up to this very date we still do not have the LED strips in the North American Model Ys whereas in China they are launching it with that new update. So because of all this and all the confusion Tesla now has to maintain two types of Model Ys. One for the North American market and one for the Chinese market. So now leading into 2024, Tesla has already made two major changes to the Model Ys. Due to recent EPA changes, the newer Model Ys has been updated to now reflect a much lower range. This doesn't necessarily affect only the Model Y, nor does it mean that the newer Model Ys will drive less than the older version. What it does mean, however, is that Tesla will now advertise a lower range and the battery indicator will display a much shorter range than that of an older model. Now there's a lot to go into this recent change and there are some benefits that come out of this plus there is a new battery that should increase the range back up to what it was before and maybe even surpass it. If you guys want to know more about this I will drop a link in the description below and one up top there you guys definitely don't want to miss that out. But yeah that is exactly what you're going to be seeing when you head over to tesla.com and unfortunately in the kilometer side of things we are now dipping underneath 500 kilometer per charge. All right, then I would say the biggest change to happen to the newest Model Y of this year is going to be the removal or reduction of the premium audio system. If you guys haven't already seen it yourself on the recent Tesla update, they have removed the premium audio system on the rear wheel drive version of the Model Ys. Unlike the previous version that comes with the highest end of everything, Tesla has decided to slowly remove parts from the newer Model Ys. The fog lights were the first thing that I noticed got taken away then the shelving unit at the back area of the storage and now the biggest update they've made to the Model Y rear wheel drive is the removal of the premium audio system. This means that we are now going from 13 speakers down to 7 and we are going from 2 subwoofers down to 0. On a very similar note Tesla has just recently pushed out a software update which disables certain speakers on the Model 3s. If you guys want to check that out before you update your cars head over to my recent video I will drop the link in the description below and up top there but this is definitely something that's really big and Tesla has been cracking down on it ever since the autopilot buddy. So there you go for someone that doesn't listen to music too much this wouldn't be so much of a deal but in my own experience with the Model 3 SR and the long range there is a very big and very noticeable audio experience jumping from one to the other. Now in terms of price differences Tesla has kept it exactly the same meaning that just for $5,000 you are going to be getting a lot more features now going for the long range. There is a bunch of things to list out but I would say the highlights would be the dual motor, the long range and the quicker acceleration. And then I would say the next thing down the list would be faster charging speeds, interior lighting, fog light and now most importantly is going to be the premium audio system. So typically I would always point to the rear wheel drive as being the better deal and especially being that the Model Y gets all the upgraded components from all the other trims. However with this recent 
update with the premium audio system, I will now say that the Model Y long range is the better deal. With all that being said, the Model Y is still the best selling car in the world. So let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. What does this change in terms of your future purchase? Would you pick up a Model Y right now with the tax credits available or would you take a chance, a risk that the future Model Y Juniper may come without it? Anyways, this should be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There is a ton more with the Model 3 performance coming out that I want to share with you guys. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that bell notification, and follow me on Twitter or X at HeyJohnE. You guys can chat with me, DM me over there. And if you guys want to support this channel, I do have a Patreon page, which I will link in the description below. Over there, there's some really nice perks. And I recently just posted up my test drive with the Model 3 Highland that just arrived in Vancouver. There's a ton of detail over there if you guys want a total brutal honest opinion. Anyways, this is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.